Hi everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Ari. I'm a Taurus Sun, Cancer Rising, Aquarius Moon, and a Light Path number seven. If you're not new here, thank you for watching another video of mine and choosing to support me further. It does mean a lot to me. Please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe before you do leave this video, especially if you're able to relate or connect with this reading. So today, everyone, I'm here with a general love tarot reading for all of my Tauruses who are watching. So if you have Taurus as your sun, moon, rising, Venus, or anywhere in your chart, then this reading may resonate or apply to you. So Taurus, in your reading today, what I'll be doing here is channeling any energy in regards to love that is making its way towards you, Taurus, or this energy may already be in your life currently. But before I do go ahead and officially begin and get started here, please keep in mind, Taurus, that this is and will be a general reading for your sign, so it may or may not resonate for you here specifically, and if it does not, Taurus, please don't take it personally. Also, Taurus, I will have your extended reading available as well, so your extended reading will be a follow-up of the energy that we go over within this reading today. So if you are interested or if this reading does resonate for you, your extended reading will be available as well. But without further ado, Taurus, let's go ahead and get into your energy. Let's see what we have going on for Taurus, please, at this time here. All right, we have our first card, which is the Empress, your energy, Taurus. Also Libra, but Venus energy with the Empress. All right, what else for Taurus at this time? the month of December, late November, going into December. Okay, Taurus, so a couple cards came out. We do have Scorpio energy, the death card. This is a sister sign, of the sister sign of Taurus. We also have the nine of pentacles, and let's see what this card is here. Six of swords, Taurus. All right, let's go ahead and clarify the six of swords, please, for Taurus. What's this energy that they're moving away from? We have the Ten of Swords. All right. And what else for Taurus, please? All right. We also have the Knight of Swords here. I'm actually going to clarify with one more energy or message for now. We have Ten of Swords, Knight of Swords, and Four of Pentacles. Okay, Taurus. So... Let's go ahead and get into it. We have the Empress, Death, Rebirth, Nine of Pentacles, Six of Swords, Ten of Swords, Nine of Swords, Four of Pentacles. So Taurus, I do feel as though you may have came out of a feeling or just this energy where you, you learn to be more... I want to say more like just not take things so personally. It's like understanding your worth towards your value. And if this one person or someone isn't willing to give you that, that doesn't discredit who you are, Taurus. I feel like perhaps you were carrying a lot in, whether it was failed quote unquote attempts at getting to know a person or dating people. Um, it it may have left you in disappointment here and just holding in all the the somewhat negative feelings that you don't want to feel. It's like, oh, I trusted this person enough to come into my life and get to know them and your time, your energy, it's sacred to us. I feel like perhaps you, when you're interested in someone, it's like you'll give that one person the time and the etiquette, the courtesy, I should say, when it comes to getting to know you further. And I feel like they they do the same for you, Taurus, but perhaps it doesn't last long or they just fall off. They become flaky here, Taurus. So I feel like this is a season, maybe you're preparing yourself for the new year. <clears throat> and we don't have to wait until a new year, Taurus, but sometimes it, it just feels like a cleaner slate excuse me, Taurus, a cleaner slate or just a brand new period in your life. But I feel like you're really giving yourself credit. You are the Empress Taurus. And also it's okay to start over, start fresh. And that's why Taurus 
and Scorpio um, can take a lot from one another because you Taurus, you're in the spring, Scorpio is in this winter, winter period or maybe even fall, but um, it's like what comes, what bears fruit, it, it has that, that dull season, that cold season where you might not get that love, that attention from out the outside, but when you go within Taurus, that's where it's all at. It, it's always been there. So focusing on yourself, Taurus, giving yourself more credit. We have the Empress, Death, Rebirth. So I feel like you're really stepping into that Empress energy where you know your worth. You're not chasing. You're attracting. And if they don't want you, then you don't want them, Taurus. We pick people who pick us. So we have the Empress, Death, Rebirth, a new beginning. Also leave, leaving behind, Taurus, any pent-up feelings and emotions or not so positive thoughts, feelings, emotions when it comes to people who have let you down. So we have six of swords and I feel like you were holding on to this for a while here and perhaps it happened not just one time more than once Taurus, but we have a six of swords, ten of swords, knight of swords also with um, maybe temporary satisfaction or falling in love with the moment or romanticizing a short amount of time where this person, Taurus, whoever you're getting to know, they should treat you great throughout throughout it all, not just initially, not just the first impression, Taurus. So I feel like perhaps you run your own test. It's like, is this person going to prevail through their actions, through their time, not just through their words, because actions tend to speak louder than words here, Taurus. So I feel like there has been some things that you've been suppressing here, Taurus, but you're ready to let go of it because it it's affecting your Empress energy. Also with the Four of Pentacles, that could be holding grudges, excuse me, holding grudges, Taurus. Um, it's okay to protect your energy as always, but um, just being, I, I feel like it's a powerful thing when you realize like, I don't have to hide who I am. I just have to make sure I do my best to let the right people in. And that could be through your own standards, your own expectations, moving at your own pace, Taurus. So let's go ahead and follow up here, see what is yet to come. But once again, your extended reading will be available. So where we leave off here, Taurus will touch on the further energy in your extended reading in order to view and access that reading Taurus. You'll either have to have a Patreon membership, which allows you total access to any and all of my extended reading stories, no matter what the sign is Taurus. So that is $8.88 per month for total access. Or if it's just this one specific energy you'd like to follow up with, it will be available for a one-time purchase as a lower price. But let's go ahead and see what else we have for Taurus moving forward. We have the world in reverse. So this is Taurus, Scorpio, Leo, Aquarius. The world in reverse. What's this world in reverse showing Taurus moving forward when it comes to love? We have the world in reverse. We have the six of pentacles. All right, so that card, it did like uh, a 180 Taurus. So let's see what it is. Justice in reverse here. Libra energy. What's this justice? We have the hermit. Virgo energy. Last but not least here for Taurus. Oh, and I, I almost forgot to clarify. We have two wands. I almost forgot to clarify the nine of pentacles. I feel like that ties into the empress energy. You have it all on your, or within yourself. You can give yourself what you want, what you desire. And I feel like through that, you're also just practicing giving yourself credit. It's like, I would do this for myself. I care for myself in these ways. I make sure that this, this, and that is taken care of. So if you could give yourself all the love that you need, Taurus, when it comes to spending your time on another person, why would you accept anything less than that? So Nine of Pentacles is having high value, high standards, Taurus, giving yourself what you want, what you deserve, what you desire. You're independent here. So 
I almost forgot to touch on that energy Taurus. But moving forward, I might, I'm going to, of course, get through all of these cards, Taurus, but I feel like there's messages going straight down as well. But following the Four of Pentacles, the world in reverse, we also have Six of Pentacles for Taurus, Justice in reverse with the Hermit upright. So this is Libra, Virgo. And we also have a two of wands. And once again, we'll see what is yet to come within your extended reading. But Taurus, I feel like it's that feeling of doing everything right. It's like I was the best partner I could be or I made it easy for them to get to know me. And what I mean by that is just you weren't like stonewalling them. You weren't self-sabotaging. You were just being yourself towards and that's the best you can do here but it's like when you do everything quote unquote right but it does not work out when you wanted this to happen but it did not happen the way you wanted to so i feel like your love life towards has been redirected it hasn't gone as planned but that doesn't mean that it won't be even better than you envisioned here Taurus, because it's like the universe sees everything um there's there are things you don't know about Taurus, even when you know yourself. Um, things are being divinely crafted, divinely guided here, Taurus. So we have the world in reverse. Things not going as you wanted it to go, Taurus. But I feel like that's redirected you to give yourself that love, that abundance, everything you want, that infinite energy back to yourself. And... Maybe, Taurus, you take on this energy of, oh, I've, I've done it alone before. You've been the empress. You've attracted what you've wanted in your life. But sometimes, once again, it becomes that slow period or it feels like a slow season where maybe you're not getting the love that you deserve and desire. Maybe you're okay being single, but at the same time, you want something committed but I feel like it's always a reminder to explore the love that you have already within here, Taurus. And I also feel like, as mentioned, I'm reading these diagonal or up to top to bottom here, but with the death, Knight of Swords and the Justice in Reverse, it's like starting over, starting, turning a new page in the chapter, Taurus, but also learning to not move move at your own pace because I know that there's a, a saying that goes with this but it's like choose wisely take your time making decisions because not everything that is our first choice is what's good for us and sometimes we learn so I feel like when things don't go as planned Taurus this is your time to go within and not put the blame or of course, we all deal with things differently, but it's like, notice your part in it too, Taurus. Not that you did anything wrong, but it's like, you gave this, but you didn't get this. Do you deserve that, Taurus? Do you deserve that, quote unquote, type of injustice happening? So it's your time to take control, Taurus. As always, you have options. So going within here, the hermit, isolating yourself, recharging, regrouping, and then nine of pentacles, four of pentacles, and then back to the hermit. This is earth energy. So you're you're stable on your own, Taurus. It's like you could give yourself what you want. You could protect it because not everyone deserves that energy from your side here, Taurus. And I feel like that will not only strike passion and creativity within your life, but I actually, Taurus, to tie this in, I saw something today that um, I believe it was 50 Cent. He was, he was talking about the, how water, like at a grocery store, it's a dollar. Um, maybe uh, in the airport, it's $4. Uh, on the airplane, it's $7. Like you're, sometimes you're just not in the right environment for it. So I feel like with the two of wands here, you're, it's like, Falling in love with being single because you know that you can attract everything, all it is that you want and even more because once again, we only know so much Taurus. We don't know what is coming towards us, but the best we can do is not settle and just know that it'll be great. 
All right, Taurus. So once again, we will have your extended reading um, following after this linked in the comments and in the description. Let's see what signs could be relevant. Any sign could be relevant, of course, but we do have Aries as our first sign. Next is Aries again. Aries again. So putting yourself first, you could take that from Aries coming out three times. We have Aquarius and Aries again, Pisces. All right. So Taurus, that is all for your reading today. As always, I do appreciate the love here and the support. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and I will talk to you all next time within your extended reading. Bye.